Have you ever been in a legally confusing situation and weren't sure what to do? Those days are over. Listen to Sabi Law on the beat 97 ABJ to know what's up. Sabi Law is up every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 55 a.m. Exclusive to the beat 97 ABJ. Good morning, Abuja. You're back to Sabi Law on the beat FM. Today we have Mr. Kenichuku Awu and uh, we'll be looking at right against confiscation of property in nigeria that is can government take any property by force and mr kenichuku will lead us on this discussion yeah every person in nigeria has a fundamental right to acquire property in any part of nigeria whether you are a headsman whether you are whether you belong to any group, or any tribe, whether you're an Igbo person, you're a Yoruba person, you're a Nupe, you're a Gala, you're a Thief, from any part of Nigeria. So myself, I can travel as uh, 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 to Mubi and get and acquire a property. And of course, nobody has the right to confiscate, that is to seize or compulsorily acquire that property. For any reason whatsoever. So you cannot acquire my property by force for any reason whatsoever. Now, it is only the court of law that can give an order of forfeiture or confiscation or taking over of another person's property. Yes. So, so, so it's all, it's, it's uh, safe to say that the government, no government from local government to state government to federal government, there is no government in Nigeria or outside Nigeria mm -hmm. that can take over any person's property by force. And you see, when we talk of property here, we mean movable and immovable. immovable. From SIM card to wallet to money to telephone to house to borehole mm -hmm. to mobile car, to, anything at all. To cattle and to spare parts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to whatever it is, nobody can. Now, the only way you can do that you can uh, take over anyone's property is by first of all going to a court of law. Yeah. It's only after a court the court has listened to both parties that the court can say yes, go ahead and do that. Now, very important in this day, you see often people will sit in their houses and they they, they will tell them that their account has been frozen. frozen. That's illegal. No, no bank has any power whatsoever to freeze anybody's account. Not at all. Now, the, 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 there is this practice, you see a bank will say EFCC wrote us. EFCC cannot order anybody's account to be frozen. frozen. Not at all. EFCC will rather, first of all, go to a court, get a court injunction, a court order. It is based on that court order that EFCC can now present or write to a bank that the bank should now freeze an account. But it in some um, instances, too, the, the banks don't freeze. What they do is to put um, a notification on your account. So what happens is whenever you visit the bank, they now get you arrested. My most dear, likely. My dear, my dear, see this, see, 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 see this. But not, see but this. they don't touch your account. You, they don't what? touch your account. Notification. You can t withdraw your phone from any other place. Okay. But what happens is whenever you come to the branch. No, no, that's not an issue. Exactly. Where, where we're headed, where we're mm. focusing on is... Mm when bank exactly. assists so, any law enforcement uh, agency to freeze an account uh, without a court order. I just wanted us to have that uh, distinction so yes. that we are sure and we know what we are talking about, that your property is your own. It's, <laughs> and you have the right to own it. You yes. have the right to own it in any part of... As long as you've acquired it legally, though. Because if you've not acquired it, <laughs> the property legally, you cannot say it is your property. So they are your own and you have the right, the fundamental right to own them and to do with them as you please. And even on the issue of whether it has been legally acquired, right. it's an issue for court to determine. No, exactly. That's because, what I'm saying. because we have seen there is a case in Enugu State. A man uh, went to work. Upon coming back, he found out that the Enugu State uh, Ministry of Lands or whatever, they demolished his property. Exactly. Now, the issue, that was, the issue was that he built on a wrong place or without approval. Okay. Even at that, it is not meant for the for the Enugu state government or any government to take laws into it and say, this is wrong, demolish. No, they should go, first of all, go to court, get a court order. It is left for a court to determine because Another it's the man's property at that point. Another issue, again, or challenge is the fact that most people don't even know that their matters are in court. 
<laughs> yeah, so you get and, the point. People, and, and, people just give fictitious notices. And to add to that, exactly. to add to that, you know, there are some matters where you will be here. Some other person is in court answering, answering you your name and, and saying, then, "My Lord, yes, I agree." So, I will so by the I time will... you are coming, there is a valid. They have a valid court. Ah. So the court has ruled on that matter. But it's a pity. It's, it's a, a pity. way. For of lack inside. of time, yes. please, we will stop here. <laughs> our authority for all what we have said today. The authority, uh, th- authorities are section forty three and section forty. Four of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Go Sabi Law. Have you ever been in a legally confusing situation and weren't sure what to do? Those days are over. Listen to Sabi Law on the beat 97 ABJ to know what's up. Sabi Law is up every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 55 a.m. Exclusive to the beat 97 ABJ.